Hey guys and gals, uh, hey guys and gals, Nery here from Drake Queen Gaming. Some of you may on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of Violet Memoir Lee's Path. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm chain, you were up, and let's go. There's decorations covering the room, and even a stained glass piece high on the wall behind the altar, shimmering as the morning sun shines through it. Whoa, pretty, ain't it? That's an understatement. It's a little empty, though. How impressive everything is, I thought there'd be more people around, but there's barely 20 seats filled. Nowhere near enough to fill this place up. People don't tend to show up for another 30 minutes. The only, the only ones who show up now are the fanatics or because they're here for another reason, like us. We're not here for service? No, I don't think I could stand it any more than I could before. Plus, I'm already tempted f tempting fate by being here. I'm pretty sure I've sinned enough to make the preacher faint. Why are we here then? I just feel like I needed to come here today. He doesn't elaborate further and sits at the end of the nearest row, right at the very back. I take the one next to him and we're plunged back into silence. I take in the other people at the church, wondering why they're here this early. There's a family of five sitting together near the front and another family of three just a few seats back from them. The ones who truly catch my attention are the three people sitting alone, two middle-aged men and one teenage girl. I wonder what their stories are. We used to come to this church every Sunday. Mom always encouraged it, but she never forced us to come. She made us want to go. Of course, we were just kids, so we were very easy to please. She'd always take us out for ice cream afterwards, so we always came. When she died, we stopped coming. I don't think I ever I don't think I ever stepped foot in here again since then. I considered coming, but I never did. Why did you decide to come now? Now that Dad's dead, it feels appropriate. Plus, I have you with me. I don't think I'd want to come here alone. Charlie would have come if he asked. Sure, but she hated and complained the whole time. She doesn't even have memories from back then, and she still hates the place. So, why are we here? Because I thought I'd feel closer to her here. I wonder if Dad's going to hell for being an awful man or being forgiven and going to heaven. Maybe reuniting with Mom might make him less shitty. Do you want that? I don't know. Lee closes his eyes and places a hand over his stomach, right where his scar would be underneath his clothes. Dad was an awful man, more than you might think. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I want to. You deserve to know this, and I deserve to talk about it. If you're sure, I know there's things I don't want to talk about. You're cute if you think I can't handle this. Trust me, I've been through worse than some bad memories. It doesn't mean you have to put yourself through it. Now don't you start worrying about me, too. I already have Charlie for that. But you worry about me! Yeah, but that's my job. I'm the older brother. I take care. You're the younger brother, so let me take care of you. Say it like that. Why not? I see. Forget about that. And please don't tell Charlie. Why do I get the feeling that you'll find out regardless? You're probably right. She always does. Anyway, back on topic. Right, your dad. Um, what did he do? You remember my scar? Of course. How could I forget? That was from him. But you already guessed that, right? I had a feeling. I was 17 and I got home late that night. Work must have pissed him off or maybe he was just an asshole like usual because he was on my ass the moment I walked in. I've been at a club and looked like I usually do. We started yelling at each other. I'd like to say it started civil, but that would be a lie. We got in each other's face and he shoved me away. I fell back into the fireplace and the fire poker went right through my side. Oh my god! I want to say it wasn't as bad as it sounded, but it was. It tore right through my side. I'm just lucky Charlie didn't see it. He had to take me to the hospital as an unfortunate accident. Is that when you got stuck in the hospital? What? Oh no, that was from my leg. My knee got shattered and I had to go through a lot of physical therapy to walk again. Was that... Was that also your dad? He doesn't answer, but there isn't any need to. The way his eyes shift to the floor and his hand covers his scar again tells me everything I need to know. Why? What? How? My confusion halts as Lee sighs, suddenly looking nowhere near as all right with this conversation as he claimed. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... No, it's okay. I thought I'd gotten over this, but I guess not. And that's okay. This is a massive thing, Lee. I've... I've seen you limp. It's been years. I've gotten used to it. Barely notice it anymore. What happened? The scar had been an accident. This wasn't. My blood runs cold as I can feel it chilling my bones to their core thought that someone would actively do that to someone, to permanently damage them. It's inhumane. I made a stupid choice, a petty one that pissed him off. Do you regret it? No, I don't. Well, not for this, anyway. Honestly, it wasn't worth the hassle. 
My dad's a construction worker. Been one for nearly 30 years from what I remember. I wanted to get back at him for something. I don't even remember what. I found out one of his co-workers might not be as straight as he claimed to be, so I decided to make a bad life choice that I could revel in and forget ever happened. Oh. Turns out people talk. No shit I know, but no shit I know, but dumbass me thought I could just fuck this guy and get away with it. I never gave him my name or anything. Hell, I didn't even know I was even he I wasn't even 18. You were underage? I told you, I did a lot of shit I wasn't proud of. Guy got a little too chatty and dad caught on. Turns out it's not too conspicuous when you dye your fur black and dress as, uh, memorably as I do. Dad put it together and when he got home already trashed out of his mind, it wasn't long before he started swinging. He didn't even talk? Well, there was talking, if you consider screaming in my face and yelling at Charlie to go to her room to be talking. Oh my god. Are you okay? Should I stop? I'm okay, really. This is just a lot. Sorry, I shouldn't have dumped this all on you. It isn't fair. No, I'm fine. I mean it. Just keep going, please. I want to hear. You sure? Positive. All right. Eventually, I said something to him. Maybe called him. Maybe called the guy a faggot. I don't remember. But whatever it was, it pissed him off something fierce. I knew I was poking the bear. Dad could get pretty violent, but I usually avoided him when he was wasted. He got a lot more unstable then. But you didn't this time? He kept telling me how much I was a disgrace to my mom. I couldn't listen to him trying to say she'd be disgusted in who I am. I wasn't thinking clearly. When he shoved me down, I thought he was going to start stomping on me. I was used to that. But he didn't. Lou grips his pants tightly. I don't hesitate to reach over to place a comforting hand over his own. I expected him to just ignore it or pull away, but he turns his hand around and holds it. The grip isn't tight like you'd expect. It's soft with his thumb exploring through every inch of fur it can reach. I would have thought he was trying to soothe me if I couldn't see how much he's relaxing. Thanks, Wallace. That's why I'm here. To hold my hand? If you need it. His free hand is shoved into my hair, completely ruining the five minutes I spent in front of his mirror. If it wasn't so good at making me smile, I'd be very annoyed right now. Anyway, I'd gotten so distracted I didn't realize what he'd been holding in his other hand. To be honest, I don't think he knew what it was either. I don't think he was thinking that much that night. He just lifted whatever it was and swung it down on my leg. It was just a single swing, but it was all he needed. The pain was blinding. I don't remember much from there. He begins to say something, but hesitates and grips my hand tighter, but I make no effort to pull away, even if it's uncomfortable. He really needs this. I remember hearing Charlie crying and him freaking out. He sounded scared. They both did. He was scared? Maybe it was because he didn't think he could cover it up, or maybe he did, or maybe he did care. I don't know and I don't really care. This didn't make him turn around his life. He just left me alone and drank most nights. But that wasn't any better. There were still days where work was a little too shit or he drank a little too much. Those days never stopped. Not until we got out of there never heard from him again. Jesus. You shouldn't use that word in here. Oh, sorry, I didn't think about that. I'm kidding. You think I'd care about any of that? I should have been smited for just walking in here. Are you sure you're okay? You're taking everything really well. I told you, kid. This is old baggage. It's got a lot of painful memories that still sting, but that's all they are. Memories. Did any of this help? But he just raises his eyebrow, looking like he has no idea what I'm talking about. With why you came here? Oh, I don't know. I don't think there's an answer for whatever I'm feeling. The old shit is dead, and I should, and I should feel over the moon. But I don't. Because you still remember the good times? And I remember how scared he was after he hit me with that hammer. That little bit of guilt in his eyes whenever he saw me limp. It was easier when he just saw it when it was easier when he was just a piece of shit. Whenever he reminded me of the man I used to know, that's when it hurts. That's it. There's a billion other stories I could tell you, but you don't need to hear those. Both of us lean back, and I can hear Lee let out a shaky breath, showing me that this did affect him more than he's letting on. I I don't know what to say. I'm not sure what the answer is. Wallace. Huh? Oh, I'm not able to even get a sound out before Lee pulls me into a hug. A proper hug that presses me against his chest as he rests his chin on my head. I didn't bring you here to answer this. I don't think there is an answer. I just wanted you here with me. I'm not sure I understand. You worry me sometimes. I don't think I would have came here by myself and your company helped, Wallace. Really. I mean it. It did? I mean, I'm glad it did. I just wish I could, I could do more. This isn't a problem you can just fix. I've had a decade to get over Mom's death and it got easier. This will too. Charlie will too. She 
think she's got, do you think she's mad? Oh, she's furious, but I don't think she's really mad at me. Even without the good memories, it's complicated. We'll be okay. We always are. Oh, Lord. One second. <coughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Ow, ow, ow. That hurt. We're both quiet after that as we watch people walking in to slowly fill up the seats. I don't really know how much we how much we've been talking, but we must be getting close to a cer getting close to service. Some of the people stare at Lee's unusual attire, while others give him a familial wave. One that Lee returns with a with a huff that lacks any bite. It doesn't take long for the hall to be bustling with people. The roar of conversation fills up the room so much that we have to shout to talk each other uh, talk to each other. Should we get going? I think it's going to start soon. All right. Sorry, I got a little bit distracted. Lost in memories. Yeah. Good ones? Good ones. I'd come back here again sometime. Maybe they remember her. Do you want me to come along? I think it'd be better if I went alone whenever I do it. Anyway, let's get out of here before it starts. I don't want to get trapped listening to this shit again. Agreed. We shimmy through the crowd of people pushing through the door. Many of them look confused at the two of us leaving, but no one comments. By the time we're outside, it's like a wave of cool air washes over us. I had forgotten how hot a large mass of people in a single room can be. If my class has got attendance like that, I'd die. Lee looks to be handling it all much better than I am. If anything, he looks lost staring up at the top of the church, just like he did when we first arrived. Except there's something different to it now. Something happier? What's wrong? What are you staring at? Nothing, just good memories. Lee and I walked back in a silence, but it wasn't uncomfortable, especially once Lee's tail kept flicking over to play with my own. He was lost in thought, but he wanted to make sure I was alright. It's not like I could be upset at him. Everything he's dealing with is pretty heavy, but it's still nice to have this, have his attention. I called Lily to ask her where he wanted to meet up, and I wasn't expecting the answer, but it had been a convenient, a convenient, had been a convenience place for the two of us, as it was just a small walk away. I offered changing directions and picking up Charlie, but Lee shot that down. He was already insist he was really insistent that some space would do a lot of good. I wasn't sure, but he knew her best. Without any diversion, it only took us a few minutes to arrive at the park. It's strange having been here so many times this week, but it makes sense as a meeting spot. Besides the library, it's one of the few places that we've met up multiple times, and with how doting Lee and Lily have been on me lately, it makes sense that we're avoiding the library. Even I think it's a little unnecessary, especially since the library would probably be easier on everyone. Though I can't deny the personal nostalgia I feel when coming here. It reminds me a lot of the times I went to play baseball with Marcus. They were good memories that I hadn't thought about in years. I forgot that I even had good memories from back then. Alright y'all, I'm actually going to pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and get off for the night, y'all. I love you all, and I shall see y'all in the next video. Bye bye